<clears throat> we, we discussed that there is a, a wave particle duality. Now we go into some depth of it and, and, and try to see what, what we actually mean and how the electromagnetic waves behave like particles. Okay, so so the so so we we are going into the particle nature of of electromagnetic waves, electromagnetic waves, and the Planck's 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 quantum theory. Okay, Planck's quantum theory. And, and, and what happens is there were certain phenomena that just could not be explained with the help of the electromagnetic theory of the 19th century uh, known as the classical physics. So, so certain phenomena which, which I'll elaborate below, certain phenomena are, are not explained on the basis of on the basis of 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 the classical physics okay of of the the electromagnetic theory electromagnetic theory that is the classical physics okay now now the foremost amongst them is is a thing called black body radiation <coughs> okay the the nature of emission the nature of radiation emission radiation emission from a black body from a black body now now what's so peculiar about that so 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 let us try to understand that first okay now now before that let me let me kind of tell you what a black body is what a black body is black body is something something which which black body is, is something that's capable of of absorbing as well as emitting as well as emitting all frequencies okay all frequencies fine <clears throat> now 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 let me show you what we actually mean by that this is this is the 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 typical typical intensity if I, if i if i name this 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 i should call this y axis as as intensity that they have labeled as as brightness right this is the intensity of light which is responsible for brightness no doubt right and this is the wavelength okay now what happens is <coughs> is as you as you so 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 this is a body at 1000k correct and what does it show it shows all these frequencies that all these wavelengths that it has in it in the in the in the wave that it radiates okay it, it has all these wavelengths and then there is a, a maximum wavelength if you can see there is a certain wavelength at which at which there's a certain wavelength at which it seems to have reached a maximum. Is it not? So I, I term this lambda lambda max. Now, 
then there is for, for, for this for, for a body at 5000 K the the wavelength that has the maximum intensity you see corresponding to this wavelength corresponding to this wavelength my intensity is a maxima okay this I take to the to the y-axis corresponding to this wavelength my intensity is a maxima corresponding to this wavelength here corresponding to this wavelength here my my intensity is a maximum okay so what am I observing as I am taking the temperature of my body higher and higher and higher okay the the wavelength the wavelength whose intensity is a maximum that is reducing there seems to be an inverse relationship between the lambda max and the temperature is it not there seems to be that so so maybe if 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 i try to try to connect them i try to connect them like that I try to connect them then the peaks I'm trying to connect the peaks they seem to be following this magenta curve is it not it, it looks like they are following a, the this this magenta curve so, so so let me let me draw a smoother curve okay okay it seems to be going like that and it, it is it not only seems it is actually a fact and and we call that the Wien's displacement law we call it the Wien's displacement law okay what does it say it says that Wien's displacement law okay What does it say? It, 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 it is what we, we were predicting that, that somehow the, the product of the lambda max, okay? So for a given temperature, the value of lambda for which the intensity is maximum. This is what lambda max means. It does not mean the maximum, maximum wavelength. No, never. Okay? So do not get confused. Lambda max is that wavelength whose intensity is the highest okay so so you know when it is radiating it is not radiating only one wave it is radiating a number of waves but but one wave is the brightest the wavelength the, the frequency corresponding to which uh, lambda max is there that will be the brightest okay similarly here similarly here so we see that lambda max multiplied by into into the t at which we are we are taking that body to so 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 you see you see the, the whole body is at t and what we have done we uh, we have plotted the different wavelengths and the corresponding intensity that they have okay there are instruments by which you are able to do that so 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 the temperature of the body multiplied by that wavelength which has the maximum intensity that becomes equal to a constant that is a constant this is called Wien's constant Wien's displacement constant so B is called the Wien's displacement constant displacement constant right so this whole nature of the black body radiation and, and, and this, this equation that has no electromagnetic, no classical physics theory can explain why this is happening. Okay. It's not, not explained. <coughs> okay.
that was was one of the things now now <clears throat> it was plank okay it was plank plank with the c before k okay plank who came forward to explain this phenomena <clears throat> and he said that that atoms and molecules that atoms and molecules could emit emit or absorb emit or absorb energy only in discrete quantities energy only in discrete quantities discrete discrete not continuous okay not continuous what is discrete that means fact quantized okay discrete means quantized it is it is not a a constant variation as i had shown you with the example of sugar that if there are are 0.5 kg sugars you you can either take this or, or or take this or take this that means you you cannot continually vary the amount that you are taking this is a continuous variation you see that okay this is a continuous variation this is a discrete variation okay a line kind of thing you hop from one to another level and in between levels are not not at all available to you understand that is that is called quantization or packetization of the thing it comes in packets okay and no better way to understand it other than this so so whenever you say that certain thing is quantized it means in, it, it comes in the form of packets okay so 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 in this case it is either zero or or i had shown you it, it's 0.5 kg or it is 1.0 kg this is called discrete and had i been able to vary any amount even 0.001 grams and 0.001 micrograms so so that would have been a continuous variation okay so so they can do so only in a a, a, a discrete quantity <coughs> okay and and he called the smallest energy level and and the the smallest energy level energy level that could be absorbed or emitted the smallest energy level that can be absorbed that can be absorbed or emitted absorbed or emitted is called 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 a quantum okay quantum okay that's called a quantum <laughs> and he said that that the energy e of the energy e of the radiation the energy e the energy e e of the quantum of radiation of the quantum of radiation is actually proportional to of the quantum of radiation is proportional to proportional to 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 the frequency okay to the frequency new okay so he in effect said that that e is 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 directly proportional to new okay and when this constant of proportionality went away what came in is what we call the the planck's constant Planck's 
constant. Okay, that this h is called the Planck's constant, and it has a value of six point six two six point h is equal to six point six two six into ten to the power minus thirty four minus thirty four and and what should be the unit let us try to see that it is e upon nu what is the unit of this what is the unit of e e is in e in joules is it not this is in joules and how about your nu this is per second no the moment you have a confusion you try to set up a relationship nu is 1 by t that we know the reciprocal of the time period is is the frequency and and what is the unit of time time is second so it has to be per second right so so this is per second now it is here so it is this unit this unit is joule and and this is per second so what happens it goes above and makes it joule second right this is the value of of the Planck's constant. <coughs> Fine. Now, if if it was this, the 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 above was able to explain. The above was able to explain. Was or uh, let me change this. The above was was able to explain. The nature of radiation due to a black body. The nature of radiation due to a black body. Okay. Due to a black body. Okay. So that is the first in the in the path to the to the uh, the particle nature of the radiation, right?